All right, I have here, uh, I think it's a 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan. Just from listening to it, I know that this car has a dead cylinder. I can hear it. It's very clean. <laughs> So I'm just gonna do a clear flood crank. Now I'm gonna turn the key to the on position, put my foot on the accelerator pedal all the way down, and now I'm gonna crank. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this on camera, but. It's clearly missing a cylinder. Now, people always ask me to make a review to like show how to use the scope. Now, I, I use the scope, now I actually don't use the scope for relative compression. I really use this just for quick signals. And well, the compression, I usually just pull out my Pico so I could show it to the, you know, the shop exactly, graph it, and we'll show it. Well, in this case, the owner actually wants to know how to use this scope, so I'm doing this video for him. Right now, I have this on, let's see, we're on a 200 millivolt scale. Um, okay, now, the way, you have to set this to AC coupling because I'm using voltage, so we're going to click menu, and then... The down button goes to channel channel one, and then if you push OK, you see switching from DC. Now I'm going to AC. Okay, now push menu again. Now we're on AC couple, so it's only going to look at the AC voltage signal, which is it's going to be a much lower signal. So we'll get much better resolution looking in. Get much better resolution looking at what's it called? Um, looking at the voltage because I'm not using an amp clamp because I don't know if I have an amp clamp on me that's going to adapt to this easily. Fine. So now, we're going to just hook this up to the battery. Okay. We're going to put negative, positive. See, so it's not showing 12 volts because we're on AC couple. So good. Now, the second channel, I'm using, this is from Joe's Auto Electric. It's an ignition pickup. Now, you don't have to use that. You could, you know, put voltage. You could do whatever you want. However, you're going to check for a uh, signal. But I find that this is the easiest. It works really well. And on this type of car where it's only covered in the back, but I could fit my hand in here without having someone else. I just have double-sided tape on this. And I'm just going to, Put it on the coil like that. And it's not really sticking because it's so dusty. And we get another piece. Now let's try this again. And I clean the coil a bit. Alright, now we're on the coil. Now I'm going to take this. Whoops, that goes back here. Channel 2, I'm plug this in over here, alright, let's ground this side of the scope, and then plug this into over here. Now, I don't know the voltage to set this to, because usually when I'm using this thing, I'm using it on the Pico, so I just, you know, do whatever I want, but here I have to get it right. So, let's go in the car, so I can see the screen. All right, well, step number one, I got to turn it on. So we're going to hold down channel one, two. Now it turned on channel two. So you now I have a green line there also. So channel two, we're going to set, let's click menu. Just make sure, okay, channel two's on DC. That's good. I'm going to put it on a one volt division scale. Right, we'll see if that works. Menu. Okay, so we're going to have to switch to channel two. We push here. Okay, now we're controlling channel two by pushing this button, and we're on a one mil, one volt of division. That should be good enough for now. So, what we're gonna do now is just crank the engine. I'm gonna do a clear flood crank. Put the key on. Hold my foot down, and let's see what we get. Okay, looks like we're getting a pattern. Now I'm gonna push stop, so it's gonna freeze the screen. Okay, now I can shut the car. Now, 
let's see. Do I have here? There we go. So I see on the green, it's going downwards, it's reversed. And it's only capturing one. I need to get the second one. Actually, you know what? It might be missing voltage. It might not have. It might be shutting spark or in the clear flood. Um, so, okay. But let me just show you the point. The point is, you'll have to find a different way to sink it if it's shutting spark. But right here, if we look at the humps. So I got... I don't really care what cylinder it is, but I have... Everything going down is the voltage drop of the cylinder. So every time the compression goes higher, the voltage is going to drop on the battery. So usually on a relative compression, you'll see a downward peak is compression. Over here, I mean, you'll see an upward spike is compression. Here on voltage, a downward spike is compression. So each one's compression. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and then we're missing one right here. So we got a dead cylinder right here. Now, let's see, does this thing run? Yeah, it runs, just misfires really bad. So I can't test it like that. If it's shutting spark, which is very possible, a lot of times shuts spark, you could put an insulin transducer in it to see, to find a, a sink. I could disable fuel, that's another way, and then I'll just keep the engine running and then I'll have spark. But either my, my connection fell off or, or, or it's not giving spark, but it doesn't matter. But you clearly see, this is how you do a relative compression. And I know that I have one fully dead cylinder. And that's pretty much all I wanted to see. So all in all, this scope is, I, I, I don't know, I really, really like this scope for using it for quick things. I don't really use it for like relative compression or cam and crank. You could, I just don't do it. Now you could put an amp clamp on here also, just change the probe. I just don't have one that fits this connector. I mean, I have one that goes to BNC, but it's a really tiny head. And my other ones are all for the P, the Pico BNC Plus, which have like the, it gets battery power from it and my other one's dead. So that's why I'm using voltage and it works great. Now this scope does not come with these type of leads. It comes with like, I don't know, these other leads that don't work good for automotive. So either you could buy the hand tech leads, they're like $15 a piece, or I actually use Pico leads. Um, it's, I mean, the leads itself cost as much as the scope, but whatever, I, I like them better. So that's why I went through a bunch of hand tech before I actually got it. But all right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. I, I forgot to mention, on a situation like this, you can just plug in a scan tool, see which cylinder's misfiring, and then you know which is your dead hole. And then you could go look, you know, if you want to do them. If you don't trust your gauge fully, you could do a, a manual leak down test or whatever if you want to find the actual problem. But here, that's not what we're doing. So they're not putting too much work into this. They just want to know why it's misfiring. All right, thanks for watching.